Hi, my name is Chris and this is my Intel Nook powered car PC. Here I have a Lilliput 869 monitor. I have a Intel Nook that is Celeron powered. And I have a Microsoft GPS unit from Microsoft Streets and Trips. Um, inside the Nook I have a 330 Intel solid state drive. Uh, to supply a constant 12 volts to the Nook, I have a buck boost converter that I bought off Amazon that will allow me to output a constant 12 volts regardless of the voltage coming out of my car. Um, the reason I have the buck boost converter is because the Intel Nook requires a constant 12 volts um, and in my particular circumstance my truck outputs an average of 13.8 volts out of the cigarette jack. And so um, yeah, so it, it, um, as far as turning it on, it's relatively simple. I just simply plug it in. Um, everything turns on. Uh, as you see, the monitor's turned on. And then the Nook is set in the BIOS to auto power on. And so, and after the result of power failure, and so it immediately will turn on and start launching everything. Now I have a batch file set up that will launch the applications that I want to use while I'm driving. Here is a close-up view of the monitor um, to better see the interface. I have here a custom iTunes interface um, that is very simple and easy to use while driving. I have the title information, a progress bar that will show how far along in the track I am. Um, and then I have very large easy to use buttons that will skip forward, skip backwards, and play and stop when I'm playing. And I have a switch app button up here that will switch to the navigation app that I have. It is a map factor navigator free, um, simple easy to use map navigation that's based on open source maps so it's free to use um, and it works very well with my GPS unit um, and it will show you where you are and it even has functions such as routing that will help you get to your destination as well as night mode which makes it really useful to use in the dark. Also, as part of my car PC build, I included a backup camera. To get to my backup camera, I just cycle through the inputs. And then, uh, upon throwing my car into reverse, the camera will power itself on and will be able to see behind me. And then, once I shift out of reverse, it will shut back off. And then, to get back, I just hit the input cycle and I will go back to the car PC. One issue I had initially with the Nook was overscanning issues with the video card. Now as you can see there are bits and pieces of the screen cut off on the edges. Um, with this particular monitor it's relatively quick to fix. You just hold down the menu button for about five seconds and the screen will flicker and it will adjust for the overscanning issues and put everything back within the scope of the monitor. Again, I'm Curtis and this was my car PC.